sectors that we just discussed. Well, by the way, the Nifty right. Bank, you know, that's going to be the joker in the pack today because that's been a relative underperformer for the last two sessions. And as we speak from the day's low, well, it's recovered quite a bit. You know, just uh, pull up the intraday chart out there. The Nifty Bank, that's up close to 40 points. That's a good 150 points of the low point of the day. And that needs to back today for the bulls if you have to go ahead and cross the 20 DMA on the Nifty as well as the 100 DMA. So those are the crucial levels that we're looking at uh, as well. Well, uh, I think we have a couple of managements that are waiting by. So uh, let's get uh, straight to that. Yeah, I think uh, we can move on. Uh, Real Estate Major Brigade, well, they posted a good set of numbers. The sales volume has increased by closure on 41%. The nine months uh, collections as well are up by closure on 30%. The company's debt as well has reduced significantly. So put it all together, well, it's looking quite good. Pavitra Shankar, the MT of uh, the company, joins us on the show. Hi, Pavitra, congratulations on a good showing. Well, uh, I was wondering uh, whether or not there was any kind of miss in the numbers, but going by the face of it, it's looking quite good. So let's talk about numbers then. How has quarter four been in terms of traction? We're all, almost halfway through the quarter four. And what do you end this year with in terms of sales, in terms of collections? Hi, um, thank you. Thanks for having me on here. And yes, we're pretty happy with how Q3 has turned out. Operationally, the numbers are very good. And, and we actually continue to see uh, this trend uh, continue for quarter four. Um, both in terms of residential, we've actually had a number of launches uh, currently ongoing. Um, so a lot of the launches that we were expecting earlier in the year are coming in uh, into Q4. So we're quite happy with that. Uh, so I think um, uh, we're, we're right on track to have a, an extremely good quarter. Hopefully it should be our best one ever um, in terms of residential sales. Office leasing as well is going along. We do have mostly non-SEZ space, uh, sorry, SEZ space. So in terms of leasing, that continues to be a bit of a challenge, but we, we have a good pipeline. All our buildings are quality uh, developments. Retail and hospitality are doing extremely well. Hospitality has had a fantastic quarter, and we hope that will continue for the rest of the financial year. Okay. Pavitra, hi. Good morning. It's great to hear that. Q4 should be your best one ever in terms of residential sales. It is a dream run, right, that the real estate companies are uh, looking at right now after many, many years of a slowdown. Tell me, in terms of realizations, are you expecting a better performance? I mean, in this quarter, you've done almost 6,600 rupees a square foot. Uh, are prices moving up? And hence, can you do better in terms of realizations in the quarters to come? Yes, actually, we are seeing pretty good demand on the ground, which is uh, very heartening despite, you know, any increases in the repo rate, which I know has been on everybody's minds. Uh, despite that, customers are really uh, uh, looking for new launches. We're able to take up prices during the launch phase itself, which is a really good sign. Um, for our own realization, we have seen it come up. Uh, we have been launching plotted development projects. So from that aspect, there could be, uh, you know, a slight averaging down because plotted projects realization isn't as high. And as we see more inventory come on from Chennai, which we're hoping to see in the next uh, uh, four quarters, that was the end of uh, next financial year, that should also bump up our average realization. But overall, we are we are taking price increases wherever possible, and it is supported by demand on the on the street. Uh, I think the residential part of the Chennai project was to launch in Q2 of FI24, right? Are you pushing it forward? No, no. I the said uh, at the end of Q2, uh, sorry, at the end of FI24 is what we're pushing for. We'll have to see if it comes through. Um, there have been, uh, some of the approvals have taken a little longer, but that's okay. I mean, uh, we just need to get the right kind of product out there. Uh, right. So that will not come in in Q2, but hopefully towards the end of FI24. Got that. Um, Pavitra, mortgage rates are now hitting 9.5% if you take into account the latest repo rate hike. Uh, when we had spoken to a lot of real estate companies in the past, they had indicated the threshold was 9%. After that, demand starts slowing down. It starts pinching uh, people who are taking EMI. Do you foresee in the next 12 months that you know mortgage rates above 9%, 9.5% is going to slow down things? Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Obviously, we're keeping an eye on it. But uh, so far, there hasn't been an indication of a slowdown. I mean, any sensitivity to even the ramp up from 
where we were, uh, sub eights, you know, six and sevens. Uh, despite having seen all that increase in rates over the last uh, year or so, we haven't really seen any change in the demand. I think there really is, um, you know, a structural uh, change finally in the residential cycle. We have been due for this up cycle. There's been a lot of demand that has just been sitting on the sidelines. A lot of the new projects are actually right sized to the kind of demand uh, that uh, to, the, to the kind of preferences that customers have. So I think it should still be quite good. There's been consolidation in the industry as well. So I think the quality of the product that is coming out there and, uh, you know, um, uh, the, the ticket sizes, all of that is just hitting the market at the right uh, spot. So given that, uh, some customers still always go for home loans. Uh, many of them don't offer it at all. So we don't see it impacting just yet, uh, but we will continue to keep an eye on it. In terms of guidance for new launches, you were looking at about 12 to 15 million square feet of new launches in the next 12 months. Is that the annual run rate that you're going with or would you have any change in the plan? I mean, we'd love to have, um, you know, that kind of number every year. But, you know, sure. when you're looking for land, it's difficult to sort of say that you will exactly hit those numbers. So we are aggressive on the land front, uh, both in, I mean, in Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad, whether it is across plotted or mid-segment residential housing. Um, the 12 to 13 million number uh, was like a full number, assuming all of our Chennai launches hit during the uh, next financial year, we could see some delays on that front. But apart from that, I think um, uh, we are still aggressively looking to grow our top line, uh, you know, substantially year on year for the next few years. We think it is the right time for the residential sector. Okay, that's on residential. What about the hotels? You said that you've added two hotels which could, uh, you know, aid your realizations. Have those hotels broken even? And what is the expectation in terms of the occupancy there since the industry is picking up in a big way? Yes, uh, we have uh, eight hotels today. We're actually um, uh, taking up CapEx on uh, one more in Mysore. Uh, so we do see um, the, the newer hotels that have come on board, they are increasing their occupancy. Overall, we've had a very good, good quarter um, you know, in Q3 and we continue to see the same, whether it is in terms of F&B banquets or meetings and conventions and so on. Uh, so in terms of occupancy, we're above uh, 60%, 65%, which is more than pre-COVID levels as well. And all of the realizations, uh, the ARRs across all the hotels are all pre-COVID levels as well. So it's a despite all our hotels being business hotels, which was sort of a challenge during COVID, most hotels doing well at that time were resorts. So I think now is the time for business hotels with domestic and international travel coming back. So we're quite confident of having a very good year for the hotels as well. What could Q4 occupancy look like? In Q3, it was 68% for the hospitality business. Does that number yeah. inch up? And what about the ARR, the average room rent? Yes, we think it should increase a little bit, especially in our Bangalore yeah. hotels. There's a lot of conventions and the, you know, the air show that happens, the aero show that happens in February as well. So due to that, I think our Bangalore hotels will do uh, much better. Okay, all the best. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Pavitra, for joining in and have a great uh, FY23. We'll, of course, touch base with you again. That's Brigade Enterprises saying that Q4 will be their best ever quarter for residential sales. That's how strong demand is at the moment. But we're not done with our real estate discussion just yet. We have another player joining us in just a bit. Uh, but let's take a break before we do.